I should say, well, he'll find out. To removal, okay. Five, seven. I would have been able to survive with this, I think. Seven times four is 140. Yeah, he now knows. Yeah, that's a little too weak. Well, hello, Negros and the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. Hey, and on this menu, I'll be serving you Tapu Coco GX. Yeah. Now, this is a special day. It was sent to me by Aether Compass, which, if you accumulate enough stream points, you can say, Donald, I want you to play this deck. I want to see if you can make it better. So, this is the original deck list, which he has the fast basic Coco GX. Basic. Three energies. Working and circuitry, same thing. Three energies, basic. Easy to get it up, easy to get it going, and you have a lot of free deck space to add whatever you like. So I played it the way it was a couple of times. I thought, man, what do we do with all this extra room? Like there are a lot of unnecessary cards which can be switched out for something. So I decided, hey, let's focus it around hammers. And let's focus down on Plumeria. And the energy discard version during the stream didn't work as well. Yeah, we took away energies, but our enemies seem to somehow keep up momentum. So, you'll be seeing some of those matches in the second and third matches. However, the final, final, final version is this one right here. Yeah, I tried to, after playtesting, fix up some of the weaknesses it has. So here's still a basic version, keeping all the card card core cards, and well, you'll just see how uh, how to go. So um, I'm gonna explain to you how this final version works, and you're gonna see it in three. I take it back. You're gonna see it in one extremely ridiculous match. I'm gonna show you some of the good matches I have with the other decks, or well, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. So let us get started. Here we go. All right, uh, today's intro is gonna be Wooded Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. And the Mario games, they've been always great throughout the years. So we'll be looking forward to the next one, which is the Yoshi one. Anyways, here we go, let's get started, Tapu Koko. Let's talk about you. Basic, 170 HP. You know, we haven't been seeing uh, HPs this low, but this is one of the lowest that most basic GX can have. It's not the lowest, but it's the low... It's down there. Yeah, it's as much as Tapu Alele. And it's easy to one-shot. It's a bad thing about that. You lose this, you lose three energy, so you have to keep it alive somehow. How do we do that? All right, so we're going to use the Fighting Fury Belt, which is bugged right now. But it does give you 40 more hit points, 10 more damage, and you would have the same HP as in Stage 1. Except that your opponent can remove it. So hopefully they don't have it in their hand and you can stay alive. What else? We're going to try to use stadiums as well. Hopefully uh, when they get removed, you'll be able to replace it quickly. It blocks 30 damage off basic lightning Pokemons. Yeah, so now you have 200 damage or hit points worth of absorption. As long as they don't hit for 200, which many decks do these days, you'll be okay. Okay, so he does have... a you know, some really good factors to help balance it out as low HP. First of all, Arrow Trail. If you can play him down to the bench, you could take energies anywhere on the field from your Pokemon, put them onto Coco, and switch him in. So, instantly he'll do 130 damage to Shot KO, and has a powerful GX. The more energies your opponent has, the more damage he does. So, the key number is about 3 and 4. Three, you're gonna need some bonus from a choice band, which we do have for a 180. Now you can KO some of the smaller basic GXs and four. Oh yeah, you'll still need a Poke Tool, but you'll get out most Pokemon when your opponent has four energies. That is the kill zone. So, threshold. All right, so that's Tapu Koko. He has no weakness. His HP is pretty low and most people can take all of them down one shots anyway. So, all right, moving on. You have also the new circuitry. It's not really new, it came out as a promo, but now he's in booster box circulation. So, 1 in HP, a little bit better. But 190 hits a lot of magic numbers, 180 does not. So, it's not that much of an improvement. 
Ability, flashing head. Now what does this ability do? If your opponent has a special energy card, double color this energy, strong energy. It's very popular, common. Zora Arc uses it. He can't be harmed. He can't be harmed by Pokemon's tag by those. Yeah, and this could be very annoying. I'll show you some. Mm, well, you'll you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Just keep quiet, Donald. All right, attack. Rumbling wires, also three energy attack, but it doesn't have a two hit directly. Mm. No, you have to boost his damage. Easily done with any Poke Tool, Fighting Fury Belt, Choice Band, and you get to discard a card off your opponent's deck. One random, random, random card. It's not gonna be too big of a deal. Your opponent should have multiple copies of stuff, but it may mess him up, may not. Don't worry about it. It will not affect the game that much. So he does have his own special GX, Lighting GX. What does that do? You look at your opponent's hand, pick the best card that you know, would mess them up the most and put it on their prizes. So now they gotta work harder to finish you off and maybe you locked away a draw support they had. Yeah, it's not giving you a KO, but it, you know, this is an opportunity you can use a GX for. One energy, it's much faster, but do you use this or do you use the KO? That kind of matters. I prefer the Tapu Koko's GX here, but if I start out with circuitry. I may, uh, you know, I may decide to use this. Depending if my opponent, you know, I think I can get a capture one card for off my my opponent's hand. It's a bit of a guess, but usually this is gonna be more reliable. It gets you to KO on a big Pokemon. Okay, so these two together, you know, we're helping out the HP. We got damage some sort. We need energy, so we're gonna use Max Elixirs. It charges up Pokemon's on your bench quickly. They have to be basic, so. Yep, everybody's basic here. Everybody's basic. You look through your deck, fine. Hopefully one of your next cards, six cards, is an energy. And it goes straight to your Pokemon, allowing you to quickly charge this up. All right, so that's how you get you know, one or two circuitries out. The last one is going to be really hard to get out. So hopefully you're not losing your Pokemons really quickly. Yep, because you only have four max elixirs, four bonus energies. Now, we're going to use uh, Raikou. Why Raikou here? He's only worth one prize card, and he has pretty good poke. 30 damage, and it helps charge up another one of your Pokemon. Hey, you could give it a choice, man. Now he stings for 60. If you got another, you know, damage bonus bonus coming out for Coco. Oh, that's gonna add up. May land a finish the Pokemon off with a bigger card. So he's here for the poke and the one prize, you know, energy restore, energy restoration effect. All right, what else do we have? When you're going against big stage twos, maybe unevolving them could be the key. Yes, those 250 cards, uh, GX cards. How do you deal with those? You may need Miraculous Shine. What does that do? Uninvolve your opponent's Pokemon into their baby forms where they have much less hit points and will get knocked out. So because I don't have that big power here, I have to use silly tricks like that to get hold my own. And finally we have Oh, Mew. Why is Mew here? Well, it just makes Guzma very nice to use. Yeah, it's also one prize guards. I mean, when you Guzma, you want to, if you don't want to retreat your Pokemon, uh, or keep a, keep a certain card up front, you could just use this free retreat. It can copy any basic Pokemon's attack. While it has much less hit points, you're only trading up one prize card. And this could be a big deal if your opponent has loads of damage. It doesn't matter with this 170. They'll do 200. Do this, and it also one-shots Buzz Walls. So that is why he's here. All right, so rest of the deck. We got, uh, let's see. What's not a draw supporter, not a deck thinner? All right, Super Scoop Up. Why is this here? You flip a coin, if heads, you pick up a Pokemon, and everything attached to it. That heals it off, that counts as a retreat, and that allows you to redo Tapu Koko's Arrow Trail, which is why it's here. You want to, you always want to be playing some Super Scoop Ups because of that combo. It's big. Yeah, it's like an Ace Roller that you don't have to play a supporter for. So, this here is the final deck we have with it. I'm going to show you how it works, so if you're still here, thank you, and... You're gonna really enjoy the next match. I guarantee it. That first match. Let's go. Let's go. Heads. Ah, go on second.
That's okay. Just let me start off with the right Pokemon. That's not okay. Boo. Hmm. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Keldeo deck box. It's Empoleon. He went a little nice on me. I think. Okay. Let us get started. So, welcome to another circuitry match. I'm going to play my remix of This Is uh, Fight Together from One Piece. And this here is today's winner, Alexander. You may know him. You may know this guy. So, welcome back, Alexander. Here we go. I'm going to play Yes to. Yeah, I'll take one extra card. He's going to be playing Empoleon. I'll be playing the circuitry deck, which I've been trying to show off. Mm, Rooklet Hill. So, we're going to see the Penguin Army grow up into big, powerful men. And be very dangerous. Let's see, does this work against... Oh, no, that's Rough Seas. Rough Seas was, helps out the, uh, the card. So, following up with Tapu Lele, likely a Bridget here, too. Okay. Alright. Let's get this going. Na, 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 na. Na, na, na. Now, opening with Bridget, he'll fill up his bench space. Be able to do top, top damage with... Uh, yeah, the Piplup. Now, it depends on me to fill up the remaining bench space. So, maybe I'm able to... You know, hold off on uh, that. And uh, not be so much. Gonna send Vulpix, but he can't attack on his first turn. So now, charging the army. Very, very nice, good opening move here. With standing opening with Grimraid. Everything there, we're not gonna give him an, uh, another card. He doesn't even need that stadium either. So, you know what? What are you gonna open up with? No, we don't said we don't need that. It's nice to be up on. Do it be to go, uh, Royal Cool. I miss you, bro. I miss you too, Alex. Yeah, that worked. Here's a here's a here's a budget retreat. Yeah, nice one, Banana Master. Awesome. One extra card. Oh, you're gonna shuffle back if you can't use it. Uh, that's another stadium. Nice try, Banana Master. That's always uh always good to have you. No other basic. And no other energies. Let's see. I need to remove anything. No. Nope. 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 We're just going to do this. And all right. You know, there's going to be a Tapu Coco somewhere that shows up. Potentially, I should have gotten normal energy too and get three energies. But yeah, that's how the game goes. So let's see how what he comes up with this. And yeah, so Donald's got many cards. Luckily, he doesn't know that I have all supporters and nothing, uh, nothing there. Now I have lots of deck thinners and Professor Sycamore. Philip, you want to fill up your bench against that deck? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. And now he'll be able to buy some time, get the cards he needs with the uh, Vulpix. However, I'm I will be able to I will be able to finish it off. You know, leave a safe Pokemon up front that you know I'm okay losing, and the real Pokemon come back. It will be uh will be something else. So Ultra Ball probably for this guy. Ah, wow. Puzzles of time? What do you have to click with this? That was two puzzles of time. It's like, I don't need this now. Rare candy it out. Have it available to go. Yeah, it gets the first hit on me, too. Uh, maybe I might be able to survive if I could get, get that stadium out. Let's see. Total pool command? Yeah. he's uh, He's got enough to not one-shot this. But he's stuck. I'll be able to get one prize. You know, but he's going for that. I won't have enough to get this. Unless I hit this card. That's probably going to be the best move. Then I'll be really slow in energy counts. Let me see what I have to do 160. Deal with the threats, Donald, as they come. That's always a good choice. Play that. Where are you, Guzma? Where's Mew? Hold up on that. Ring the Mew out. Ring the Mew out. 
get the prize card first. Do this now. Yeah, I used the energy, didn't I? No, I didn't. Banana Master, pull me more. I was gonna pull that out and hit it right away, but I forgot about the certain card. Miraculous Shine. Undo this rare candy move. That won't be available to attack. He's got a rare candy, another one in there. Okay. Oh, okay. I put Zorark for consistency. It helps get some cards. Zorark helps. Ah, he had another one ready! And now this is exposed. This is exposed. Oh, wow! That was pain. Let's see, does he have enough damage? I filled up my bench space completely. Yeah, he does have enough damage. If he's able to retreat, I really want to get get it, half attack again. Yeah. Oh, he was like, nope, Donald. I was ready, Donald. I was ready. Oh, well, we could we can super scooper come up back. So he's gonna get rid of the you know the thing that was the threat was keyword. Take two prize card counter me right there. Darn, Alex. Darn. Well, this will help me some time. He's gonna take another prize card, fortunately, but I think I'll be able to finish this off. I need a week in it, too. Let's go. Take away this. Professor Sycamore. Don't let you get that. Choice bands are bad. He's got, hey, he's got a special energy. Circuitry can't hurt, he can't hurt my circuitry. Not that it matters in this one right here. But he'd probably be able to go through it pretty easily then, though. So. Let's hold off on this right now. Here, you're gonna have this right now. We're gonna use Booming Thunder. Weakness damage, really? Oh, I didn't see, I forgot that, that. You picked something weakness to me. I think you forgot about that too. Circuitry, get yourself up. Circuitry is ready to go. But he has another Impaling to go. He can't use a count energy. Not that may or may not matter that much. I'm gonna try to fill, not put any more bench Pokemon down. If I can do that, I might be able to survive. All right, all right. Choice ban. Uh, all my choice ban. All four of my choice bands not gonna be uh, good here. All hail the lightning chicken. Hmm. Let's see, he needs energies. Ultra balls. And it cannot be counter energies. Discarding energy, but you know, with the Aqua Patch here, this could be very easy to charge it up. Oh! Oh! That's a counter energy, so you can't hurt the circuitry. But it probably had no choice. No, nothing, uh, nothing in his hand to, you know, follow up. That's just how it goes. But by putting that on there, it tags him. It tags it so that it cannot hurt the circuitry. However, I'm, you know, I'm getting, you know, low in prize cards. He's not trading any GX attackers here. He should be able to total command. I don't know if he draws draw draw support or not. Either way, this circuitry is like, there's nothing that can hurt me. I just want to Guzma that out there too. This is the only threat on the field right now. And maybe this. Alex, Alex probably forgot, doesn't know what circuitry does. Okay. We're gonna have to surprise him then. Zappo Coco, let's see if I played that super. I probably got thrown out by sick more. Nope, it wasn't this game. I need an energy to attack. You guys don't need those choice bands. Now that's more damage in coming for me, so I gotta take that out. Good thing I saved it, right? Guzma, no, I got energies. I don't have any energy. That's the problem. If I send out the Tempo Coco, I may get killed now. So I have to play Professor Sycamore. It's just. Aren't you, aren't you a diff, such a difficult guy, Professor? I can put this on, just a thin, because if, if we get some reshuffle, there's a super odd, thankfully. Thankfully. Yeah, come back to me. Why are you putting Pokemon down? Because those Pokemons are valuable, they do get me stuff. Here we go, we're gonna use Rumbling Wires. We, unfortunately, will have to, you know, take the weakness damage here. I think we both forgot about... No, he, we for, he forgot that this had the weakness. He wouldn't chose that against me, but... We'll go ahead and leave it right there. Okay. 
He's got to get a fresh one up. This, yeah, this here's the threat. If I, if I end him away, he'll get less cards. Probably as useful for artillery. Sushi Master is right here. And they're like, I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. Mm, how much damage? As long as I don't fill too my bench space. Yeah, we're good. We can even take the Mew out. But the Mew is going to help me Guzma. So I don't really want to, yeah. The Mew is going to get me Guzma. I could just charge this up. There are so many special energies here, Alex. No. That, 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 that's... He picked something really weak against circuitry. I know. I don't think he did it on purpose. He's got weakness damage and he's using, you know, special charge. This stuff. He's not going to be able to hurt it. Ow. I think he's not he's being nice to me or he didn't see it. Okay. So, I should say... Well, he'll find out. To removal. Okay. Five... Seven. I would have been able to survive with this, I think. Seven times four is 140. Yeah, he now knows. Yeah, that's a little too weak. And with weakness damage, too, it's gonna be big. Why are you putting that on the Mew? Because I'm waiting for Coco. We're gonna go ahead and use Rumbling Wires. Knock out that out. It... I don't know. This is, he may be using four special energies, or eight up to eight special energies, eight splash energies, as well as eight counter energies, or there may be a better, nicer distribution too. Right now, counter energies can't work. So he's gotta, you know, he's got time. I've got to take all four prize cards. I do have an Espeon. So that's beyond, let's see, how many are in the discard? Two, that means there are two remaining possible. Yeah. And as long as I don't build my bench base once again, we should be okay. We're gonna have two removal these two off. Why not, right? Gold picks, yeah, it's a prize guard, but it'll help set them up as guards. So we'll get this ready to go. This is tagged. This is the problem right here. This one's the one's about to attack. He's got, uh-oh. Maybe, maybe it's already in his hand, maybe not. So we are gonna not let him get the floatstone, uh, floatstone uh, advantage here. Let's go ahead and play this. Let's go ahead and play N here. The N. You wish that was an N. Max Elixir. Well, wait, that's for the Coco coming. All right, attack or GX? Attack. I need it. It. We took an N away. Max Elixir, so many energies. And it's not gonna help me out, it's gonna be worse. Like the Coco, let's see, the Ultra Ball is pretty thin. I do need Professor Sycamore or Cynthia. There are in my deck, the cards. So that evolved. Unfortunately, it's tagged with this Flash Energy. It's not able to hurt me. He's gonna have to go for the back line. And I'm gonna take one prize card away, which he doesn't want to. The big threat's still around, still hitting his back of his deck now. It's gonna start to hurt because nine. There we go. Got no choice, gotta take the Mew. Could have taken that. But maybe he wants the free retreat here or something. I don't know. But I have no bench space, Pokemon. I'm not intentionally th I'm not throwing them down because it hurts damage. Mew's gonna go, I maybe he might not actually have the damage for Banana Master too. Look, look at four, four, six. Yeah, he does have enough damage. I think he could have taken more energies and, you know, remove. Remove the uh, enemy draw here. Why is the Mew a threat? Why is the Mew a threat? Banana Nutmaster. Okay, so this one can attack me. This one can attack me, but won't be able to finish me off because I really hurt my bench. Got no bench base. Why did he want the Mew? Maybe because I it's by part of my Guzma combo. It makes a weak, a mix me weak to Guzma. Yeah, that's probably part of why. So then now it makes Guzma weak, so I can't go for that and Polly. That's the threat. Maybe other ones too. Okay. Send the circuitry out to KO it. He'll be able to keep everything. But I'll be able to nicely finish him off here. Yeah, Cynthia. Cynthia is much more bigger on card pools. Let's go ahead, Cynthia. I should be okay. I've not filled up my bench space. Could have. Let's see, which one has a this one has the 70 hit point thingy. I might be able to rare candy that. And 
not time for rare candy. Rumbling wires. Let's just finish it. Get that prize card. Put everything here. Not in the discard, unfortunately. He'll be able to set this up to go and be able to... Uh, he's, he knows how to handle this now. Okay. So we gotta not lose the circuitry. We have to not lose this circuitry. Otherwise, the game is gonna be over. Rare candy. These out is... Mm, you know, it's good that they're all vulnerable to... Uh, most of these are vulnerable to uh, a sudden espion. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, that could be that could be it. This is vulnerable to Espeon. This is vulnerable. This, he pro I think he has a previous, the previous evolution. So this one, okay. With all the rare candy he's got, it'd be okay. Da -da 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 -da. I think I, could, I don't think I have to deploy Espeon right now. I like, couldn't safely take prize cards. Let's go ahead and go in. Now he needs a Guzma to win. Unless uh, this works. It does not work. Okay. How many scoop ups I have left? I have three. That's all that. How many goose much you got left? I've only seen one. Espion, come down. Cynthia. Circuitry has his ability right now, but he doesn't need the. He just needs a regular water energy. That's beyond or not. How many Iraq energies you got left, Alex? All four are gone. All four are gone. All, there are no more. Let's do this instead. See if we can get an extra charge in. Be greedy. Miraculous shine. All four times are gone. All four candies are gone. I hope that helps. Send the cocoa out. Take remaining energies and go. Okay. That leaves no chance that a Guzma could, could come and get through this. All right, all right, all right, all right. He got the regular one, unfortunately. We don't have a Guzma at the moment to finish that. So, well, it's up to the draws, man. It is up to draws. I got ends left. All my Guzmas have been used up. This is it. This is it. I think he's got me. I think he's got me. We'll see. He just needs a Guzma in his hand, and he'll be able to pull it if it's in his deck, too. Guzma. Uh-oh! This has got enough damage already? 40 damage? 60, almost. Maybe, is that too early? That could be. Bubble Beam. What do I got? I gotta pull something to help me live. Coco. Well... Or I could spam this over and over and he'll never be able to evolve. He's about to deck out too. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah, I can. He's about to deck out though. If I attack and he evolves and he goosebars, I lose. If I keep spamming this over and over, he'll never be able to get the damage he needs. Miraculous Shine. Spam this over and over. Gotta avoid that Guzma. That's no more, there's nothing, I have very nothing, almost nothing left now. No retreats, no nothing. No nothing. This is so, so, so hard.
If he's got a third Guzma, I think I've, I, then I've lost. There was no way to avoid that. Why is Wave Splash? Okay, we can retreat with this later. If I end... That's not gonna help us out, help me out. Miraculous Shine. Don't let him do it. He's got one more card. He's got Bubble Beam, though. That could go for Browsers. Could do something. Then he could have finished me off. Don't work! Don't work! Yes! Ugh! Unevolve again! Alex got one card left. Alex has one card left. Zero cards left. Alright. What now? He can end again if there's another end. This is it. This is this is the, the super, super, super close game. I did all this stuff because I was afraid of Guzma. In before Guzma. If he's got Guzma, he's got to fix the deck out problem right now. Put a smiley face. The bubble beam could have. He probably. The bubble beam could have got me if it was heads the earlier too. Yeah, that is that. I'm gonna end the game right there. Wait, sit done. That's it. Ew, whoa. Good game. Oh man, I'm trying. I was neck deep, and Alex was close. So so. Oh, what a heck of a game, Alex. What a heck of a game. What a heck of a game. What a crazy, 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 crazy game. I'm holding on for dear life, holding anything could have happened there. Good game, Alex. That was a crazy, 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 crazy game. It would have been good either way, no matter what. Uh, I have a stomach ache now. All the stress is getting to me. Uh, I can't feed myself. Ask me on EX is a cheese pasture. Bro, that was crazy freaking intense. Alright, that's gonna be the best match of all. Going to a Tapu Coco up front. I uh, wanted to start off with circuitry. You can't complain. Now, retreat is pretty bad, so. It's Volcanion. This is the kind of de another kind of deck where Circuitry does nothing against. So he's going to be pretty happy about that. We do have weakness damage against this. We only have one one-shot, too. So I definitely don't trust the front Coco. Charge something else in the back. Oh, no, I have weakness damage against that. You want to charge up your Volcanion. Okay, let's get started. Welcome to another Circuitry match. Let me see how what kind of energy... I think he does have baby Volcanion. That's something we're weak against here. So there's no special energies running this particular deck. So there's no special bonus there. I am going to play my remix of Shinzo no Sasagayo from Attack on Titan. Here we go. Circuitry one-shots ho -oh. Yep. Everything one-shots ho -oh. So he should be uh, worried about that and try to fight with the Volcanion instead. Let's see. He's got, a, he's got Banana Master's pull here. And he's got this too. Going over the Coconut Master. So we really want to pick off the, the Volcanions, I suppose. I actually want the Baby Volcanians too. But he has enough damage to pick up Baby Volcanion. It probably, there are times when I feel like I should have two or two. Kiawe up front. Uh, we can Plumeria, but. Well. That's dangerous. Alright, so I'm not, I'm not gonna bank on a Plumeria. I'm gonna try to bank on Hammers. Hammers? Like, if we get two Hammers discard, that may be good enough. Okay, so what do we do here? We try, let's see. Yeah, he's got, let's see, with 100, 210. So if I pull the stadium, I may be able to survive. I'm gonna go ahead and toss that down, but of course you don't trust the front Pokemon now. However, he's got a Guzma waiting in his hand. Everything's gonna be really, really bad for me. Let's go ahead and thin now, get a team of circuitry out. Actually, get one Banana Master too. One Banana Master prized up. Get circuitry there. Uh, we're gonna bank on the hammers instead of Blue Maria. 
Let's see, he might, he might just have... A little worried. If he has Guzma, it's just gonna be, I'm gonna be ruined. Let's do it, let's risk it. Let's go ahead and drop the tour removal. Take that stadium, take low his damage bit. So he can't just really blow stone out of there. Alright, so... I have weakness damage against this. If I can Guzma that out there, it's a win. It's We're gonna be very, 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 very ahead. So, uh, if he Guzmas this first himself, he'll get the KO because I don't have any bonus here. One energy up here. Could he be stuck? Could he be stuck? Another energy to the back doesn't really help, but he's got Banana Master here as for the pull. He's got Professor Sycamore, so that is not a Guzma. We are completely safe. And if, if he doesn't, yeah, if he does retreat, we'll be okay. Field blower. Oh, no, 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 no. I need that to live. I need that to live. Yeah, belts are worth it to take out. We have extra belts, though. We have extra belts. Switch? Nope. Okay, good. Well, uh, I'll take, th I'll take this then. We'll just trade, but he'll lose the majority of his energies here. He, mm, yeah. And then we'll start, we'll, we'll use Guzmas to get the first set of this once we can get that up. Float still? No. Why? You have weakness damage. He maybe doesn't realize, but we probably should be investing it on maybe these back cards right here. Alright, so let's go ahead and send this out. We need 10... No, we got enough. We got enough. Alright, for thinning purposes, I am just gonna drop this down, grab another uh, type of Coco. Oh, not type of Coco. That's one of your special cards, Donald. We're gonna end because he took two prize cards. That's gonna shrink him up and have him less cards, so that'll be, uh, that'll be good there. Hammer! Yeah! Alright, so, Hammer. I'm, you know, I'm a Tails Magnet, but let's see how this works. Perfect. Perfect. You know, there's something pessimistic. You are a Tails Magnet, for, but, for sure, but uh, let's go ahead and use Rumbling Wires. Double damage. He didn't expect that. I think he forgot about that. Otherwise, he wouldn't have put the Float Zone. It's just like, I'm going to throw a Float Zone away. Another Hammer, Plumerias. Yeah! Well, I'm happy. <laughs> We could maybe deny him a lot of energies while we ruin his deck. Okay, sending Tapu Coco. We have another Guzmas here. No, no, you don't want to send this out. I'll just take another prize card if I just Guzma that. But let's see what happens here. Charging that up. That's right. That's right. Oh, which deck is the highest rating in your YouTube videos for standard? There are a lot of decks that can stand up there. Uh, Buzzwall. Strongest fighting. Volcanion is just as fast, just, just as this damage. Mmm, Xerneas is a little bit squishier, but uh, I can handle it too. There are a couple of decks there, so uh, we'll finish that later, but you know, just naming them off the top of my head. Alright. Choice man on the. No, 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 I have weakness damage against that. I will just pull that out. So, uh, I'm gonna wait for that because it's my other. I think I'm just gonna go for Plumerias. Yeah, choice man. That's that's you go. Well, he's not. He doesn't have Volcanion, but he does have this here. I could just let's see if this works. If this works, I'm I'm free to Guzma. No, we're gonna load up another circuitry. We could Plumeria, or we can get the prize card. However, I don't have a free retreater now to to get it back. Yeah, that's one thing you forgot about. Let's just go ahead and Plumeria then. Discard this, discard the stadium, remove that energy, it already magically does that for me. And we're gonna go ahead and use Lightning Jix, stuck up, get him stuck. Yeah, rumbling wires! Oh, the way of Cynthia. Alright, maybe we can get him close to decking out. That'd be good. Okay. Energy is going from here, he's like, yeah, I need those GX here. Steam up. I don't know if you have enough damage energy to attack. Let's see how many energies are in the discard. I'm probably lots. Ten energies in the discard. Whoa! Yeah, you're gonna need that steam up there. Float stone to get him in the back. Well, let's see. Does it have enough to one-shot me? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Ten energies there. I don't think I have the... I don't think I, this time I may have the luxury to uh, Plumeria. We'll see. Ooh, this is so good for uh, Guzma, but we don't have a float stone. However, I'm pretty sure he's not going to pull energy from his hand pretty soon, so maybe we'll see, we'll see. Energy goes here. 
So two Pokemons are able to attack. I'm gonna make sure, let's just make sure we have another Pokemon ready to fight. That's the bad thing about Plumeria, she can't really draw. We can one-shot this too. And we have another Pokemon to fight. I think that's the best use of the GX. Yeah. Yeah. One. Two. Three. Done. Counter your GX with my GX. Tons and tons and tons of damage. And if that comes out, we have a weakness damage to finish it off back here. So two threats. You can't really stop both. And <laughs> I can see, uh, you might need... Might need a float stone. No, 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 you can just scoop up. Scoop up, that's good there. So! Yeah, I got weakness damage this time, but you know, this was a popular fire Pokemon. Don't feel too guilty. Gonna steam up. There's a lot of energies in the discard. I mean, that's 210 damage. Ah, he needs it. He needs it for the paradise. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Stadium. So that worked out. That worked out right there. All right, so that is going to be game because of the weakness damage. Energy, we're not going to waste his time. We're just going to use Rumbling Wires. Get that last two prize guards out of there. And the Guzmas, you got to have float zones. So we'll have to fix that all up a bit. All right, all in game. He's like, hey, we're fighting. We hate rocks. We're flying too. Kind of, no, we're not really flying type, but uh, let's play. Red Steam. Red's like, you know, I'm the master Pokemon trainer. I don't care. Would you like to go first? This is the first time. Yeah, I've been going second for- No. It is true. But, uh, be quiet, Donald. Hey, send the Mew out. It is going to be a fairy deck. Ooh, how challenging. Wow, we won the coin flip. Yeah, I'm a Tails Magnet. It is Gardevoir. Gardevoir won't be able to use its DC to fight me. And if I have enough defense, then it's going to be very good. So... Let us get started. Welcome to another circuitry match. I'm going to play my remix of This is Red's Alola theme. Yeah, we'll, def we'll definitely see him in the next video game, too. You know, everybody loves Red. Two more cards, too? Yes. Banana Master? Yes. All right. Zorua. Two Banana Masters? Hang up on that. Hang up on that. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and play this here. Perfect. Energy for Tapu Coco. Tapu Coco will probably come down. You want to stick more all these nice, valuable cards? No! Cynthia's like, haha! Get out of here, Sycamore! That's why we have you now. Ah, well, you know, we'll pull the circuitry later. We'll treat any time with this, doesn't matter. We'll save this for the Tapu Cocos and the belts. Just leave it be. I'm gonna end. I mean, all I need is an Ultra Ball to, uh, or to a Tapu Coco to get things going. So this is all this is all part of the plan here. All right, Ultra Ball. So what do you need now? This is uh, I kind of want to main the circuitry. I really wanted to charge up a circuitry up. We'll have to let it be. Usually the first time I did the circuitry deck, I ran it with a Magnezone. But let's see what he goes. Going up with a Tapu Coco. Ooh, I don't want to end because he's about to bridge it. He's like, oh, thank you for the free shuffles and that, but I need to do it. I need to do it. If he puts a uh, DCE on, let's see. Yeah, bridge. I don't want to end into. That's why Cynthia is just the supporter you want to pull all the time here. Don't poke my. I know. You guys see it. You guys know how many tails are just going around here. Okay. So we have nothing we can use in this hand. You know, I may. Energies are plenty in my deck. I don't want to end them, but I have to. You want to save your GX? You know what? I think I may need to blast the Guard of War. He needs five energies though, so that maybe not be possible. We're gonna get the circuitry out now. Load everything up. I can always GX, but I probably it's a little too tanky for me to go. So I'm gonna go pop this GX instead. Lightning GX. He's got Cynthia and the Lele. What do you want to prize up, Donald? You want to prize up a Gardevoir? What's going to be the what's going to hurt him the most here? I kill his bench base. 
But if I take the God of War, he'll be able to find it once he gets a KO. Take the Cynthia out, play. There we go. Are you going for Crook Circuit? That's a bit shocking. Yep. We're going for Crook Circuit. Ugh, I don't want to end here. I only have three ends, man. Let it come up the front. Sure. We have a two shot. He's like, yep, I took away his draw supporters. He has to use up the bed that bench space for another one. Uh, that's why. That's what we wanted. He's following up with the Cynthia because he, uh, he's got nothing here. Now we need Tapu Koko and the rest of the remaining of the Max Elixirs. I also have all four hammers in my deck. So those are going to come soon. Cynthia, waiting to get those out. Uh, let's see. We should be definitely tanky. That will definitely take some investments to take these out. Right now he can't use DCE, so we're safe. We're safe if we just want to charge up the circuitry. Zora Arc, he can't use DC to... Well, yeah, yeah, he can. Well, no, he can't use DCs, but he can just use regular energies. Comboing with the Zora Arc, it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a problem. Alright, so this is a very challenging. Challenging. Now, hang on. You just gotta get those hammers to go. Evil Soda, gonna get both Zora Arcs up. Now, he cannot use DC to fight with this, though. But he'll get... He's gonna have a lot of, lot of car pulls. And this deck works with tons of Bridges. Going away the rare candy. Yeah. Scary, 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 scary. Ultra Ball. Probably gonna go for at least one of these guys up. Throwing away all the DCEs? Double DCEs, like, no, I can't get the rid of guy out of the circuitry. That, that is definitely slowing them down. We remove the energies with the hammers. But, you know, me and Tails. Uh, he pulled a guard of what it means he's gonna pull the rare candy that directly. We should probably get Espeon too. Yeah, Espeon. Ah, uh, Espeon would be an improvement here to, to this deck. That means you have to take a bench card space out again. Where are the hammers? He's got seven cards. If I end now, he's gonna get seven card pulled. So it's not gonna be too good. Charging up the Zorark to fight. He's like, yeah, this is the closest thing. It's ready to fight too. So Circuitry is ready to fight as well if we pull it. I don't want to give him a fresh hand no matter what, so I'm gonna play Sycamore. I don't want to really pal pad the end back. That really sucks. Oh, came at the right of time. Thank you, Tapu Koko. Thank you, thank you, Top Deck. Grab everything out. Top Deck, it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, well, you're gonna lose it. I don't want ends back in my deck. Buy ends. That's why I'm not gonna play it. Got another Tapu Koko ready. I want a field blower or something out. I want a hammer, so I want to make sure it not attack me. And the tail's back, I know. Mm. You know, he might have a Guzma encounter me with that. I don't know if I can afford to charge up a circuitry at the moment. However, he's playing like he doesn't have a... He's playing in the way manner I want him to, so... This is going to be tough. This is tough. Let's just go ahead and take that two removal out. Make it a little bit more annoying for him. I don't want to throw my last type of Coco out. Guzma will come back. Circuitry. Yeah, just make sure this is a threat. And then we'll scoop this up later. Play everything here. I don't have the bench space, but I probably will some when I get a scoop up. Stadium, yeah. No, 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 I got the belt here. It might just take... No, 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 no. Let's just take it out. Yeah, let's just take it out. It's going to help me next server fit. Two Banana Master. Take the extra pulls here. See what we got. All right. That's all we got. Sky High Claw get a two hit on this. Unfortunately, our hammer did not kick in. He'll be able to attack me. I'll take some reduced damage, but I definitely want to scoop this up afterwards and just heal it up. Uh, do I have a way to do that? No. No, you may just lose all your energies. Right now, I'm kind of, kind of brick. We'll see what he does. He has to use these to pull unless he just got really, really good with the top deck here. Now, Circuitry is ready to fight soon, so I'm not too worried. I also can retreat this. It would be nice to get a Max Elixir to be able to attack. Then again, yeah, if he runs away, we'll finish him off. If I stay, then, well, it'll be the first prize cards I take, so we'll see. We'll see your Blue Melody. E Hammer himself, low. Uh, I don't want to enhance hammer because I want the energies there. Mallow. 
well, he could have played Mallow, but he wouldn't have anything to draw though. So he, he took the risk. That's why he was just going, gonna play N for seven cards. Seven cards. How ridiculous is that? But thankfully, I was bricks and they got more cards off that. So, okay, good, 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 good. Now, whatever he charges the backup, we're gonna try to hammer that out. Uh. Well, try. The keyword's try, okay? Yeah, we know, Donald. Just going to enhance hammers. He's like, yeah, this deck doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work for that. We have a circuitry. Fresh, fresh, fresh circuitry. He's getting low. Uh, let, let's see. Is energy counts? I haven't seen that many energies being played. Oh, you did that? Thank you. The Mew. No, I need the Muse for the... I need the Muse for the, the, the Guzma combos. That's why that's still there. Banana Master's gone. I took away his opportunity to, you know, take a prize card. So there, there's that. Double puzzle time. Is this a single or a double? I don't... I do not like puzzles of time. It's really clunky. I guess we Lucario is good. Pull the DCE out. But well, I got the circuitry ready, so... We'll see. We'll see about that. Gonna not let me get the KO. Good there. Gonna start charging up the guard of war. Where's the DCE gonna go to? Good, 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 good. Oh, he'll get the KO though. He will get the KO though, unfortunately. Yeah, he took away the stadium and the belt. The stadium and the belt's right here too. Blame. Infinite Force. Yeah, all my protection. All my protection was stripped away. All right, free retreat. Uh, let's go ahead and send that up there. Let's go ahead and hammer. Take away an energy that he would need. Alright. I have better Cynthia. Let's get the last circuitry out just for thinning purposes. Get this here for safety. I need a I need my last uh, type of cocoa, so let's go ahead and send that out there. Hammer, another hammer? Sure! Yeah. Yeah, that can't attack me now. Better retreat into something that he can't hurt. And let it be. Alright, he can't use these E's. This, this thing is screwed. It cannot go for my... Well, it cannot hurt my circuitry anymore. He's gonna have to go for a fresh guard of war or charge one of these guys back out. Field blower! Yeah, we have plenty of... That should be the last field blower. He's got puzzles of time, but I've got the belt and I've got more stadiums. Plenty of those, both of those. So I should be okay. Alright, circuitry cannot be harmed. Mallow. Oh, that's not Guzma. So it's probably gonna be two energies. Likely gonna be two energies to charge up maybe a fresh Zorak to attack. And that's gonna two-shot us, unfortunately. Yeah, that's lame. Uh, we'll still, let's see, I think I've used up a couple hammers. Yeah, two hammers. So there's still some hammers. There might be Plumeria. Plumeria is something that could, does help slow this down. Rare candy? No, no, no. He's like, I can... Weakness damage. Oh, uh, but you can't use... Oh, yeah, you can use regular energies here. Max potion to heal this up. This is looking really bad, guys. Really, really, really bad. I feel like I should have saved, uh... I should have saved the type of Coco's GX. So we'll be able to look at the next cards, maybe find energies. DCE is not going to be able to hurt me. That's this energy for turn. Twilight GX. Ugh. We'll be able to discard some up, but... You know, with this, with two fighting energies, would just be able to just wreck me. I've, I feel like he's definitely in control of this game. I need three hits to take this thing out. I really want to go for the Gallade right now. I can't Ultra Ball because I'm cheap. I didn't put any Lele's in. There's one Guzma down there. Yeah, looking for energies, looking for all the two removals. Oh, he is so in control here. He is so, so, so in control. Okay. I'm going to play Professor Sycamore now. You know what, Coco, you're not going to help me anymore. Throw this up here. Recycle anything? Well, 
Oh, you might be able to, some card might be able to live. Coco's energies. I already got another circuitry. We're gonna use rumbling wires. Hopefully, discard something that's useful. Guzma, that's useful. Don't have enough damage. Need the belt to uh, to make things going. What deck are you playing? I'm playing a uh, circuitry. I'm being overwhelmed by a God of War right now. Very, very overwhelmed with the with the setup here, with the two extra draws, with the Gallade that it's gonna hit me for weakness. He needs two energies in his hand, and I'm gone. I, I you know what? I need a type of Coco with this. I need a type of Lele, Lele, so I can scoop up and you know hunt Goosebumps and do all that magic shenanigans. Gonna be able to one shot this, use weakness damage to pierce through. I know I lost. I'm gonna make use of my stream time. I'm gonna go well played. He just has too much control, too much bulk that I'm not gonna be able to get through this. It's just too much. It's not, yeah, I can't get more, more than that. So, let's see. You're too cheap with the co- Well, looks like you made it to the end. Thank you, congratulations, it is time we rate this deck. So, let's break it down. Unique trait. What makes you special, Coco? Which deck in general? This synergy is really simple. You're all basics, you just need some energies to go, and you have a lot of free space to do whatever you want with that. So, it's, yeah, it doesn't require any complex setup, and simplicity itself can be a really good thing. We're giving it a 4 out of 5. Okay, so let's, the, the, the end results of this, mm, it feels normal. It still feels normal. Damage, 4 out of 5. That means you can get a 2-hit across two different Pokemons pretty easily. You may need some help, but this one, no help at all. You can expect it. You can guarantee it. And your GX comes from... Or your one-shot comes from this one GX here. So yeah, you get a one-shot in. You might be able to use this for kill. It's there. It's normal. Good. You pass with damage. 4 out of 5. Setup. Still gonna give you a 4 out of 5. You think, Donald, you could give this a better score? Well... There is a weak point in the setup. After your max elixirs all kick in, you're gonna have trouble. So if you uh, get, you know, after two Pokemons charged up, the third one's gonna be very, very difficult because there's not really an easy way to charge it up. So there's gonna be a little bit of lag towards the end. But at the start, you're good to go. You're good to go. So I had to take a little something at the end there. Four out of five. Uh, defense. Three out of five. These are low HP Pokemons, and your belts are not gonna keep you alive. Two removals. It's not as reliable. That's the way it is. That's the biggest weakness. Decks that are supposed to one shot will easily do it, and maybe not have to work so as hard. Yeah. 3 out of 5. Low HP GX. They're worth two prizes cards, all of them. Rating. I'm gonna give this a B minus. My version of it. I need. It absolutely needs a tech change. Very much so. The low HP, the two shots. Something needs to help it keep up. Keep up against what? You have to help it keep up with, say, uh, Buzzwall. Yeah, this thing is spamming down one shot across you. There needs to be some special tech against this, and these type of archetype. It's not just Boswell. Yeah, you can do fix it with a Mew. Other cards do it too. Bulu, Necrozma, something more broad that can tick on these guys. And that's not the only thing too. You still have your Galissopods out healing you. Two shots, not enough for Galissopod. It just uses Acerola, Solasaur Arc. You're not winning fights against those. It's tough, so. You need something else. What is that something else? Raichu? Maybe Necrozma? Maybe Magnezone and just fighting with one prize card Pokemons. Those things can help. So, we kind of need to redo this one more time to be able to take on those big decks. But for now, I'll leave it be. There is another version coming, which is going to be a little bit better. So, uh, that'll be soon. That'll be soon, but not for tomorrow, hopefully. So what do we have for tomorrow, Donald? All right, so we're done with this deck. Let's see. Am I sending you Lycanroc or Slazzle tomorrow? I don't think I'm sending you Lycanroc yet. 
you know, I've been doing uh, videos extra early, but uh, hopefully I can send you Lycanroc for tomorrow, which is right here. You know, I know what Lycanroc is. This Lycanroc. You know, Buzzwall's totally better, but what if you can make a pure Lycanroc deck and have somebody else support it? Mmm, you probably know what that card is, so Lycanroc on his own? It's like, yeah, I better know Buzzwall. Let me take out him. Uh, let me take out a shot at the, being the main star. That's gonna be for tomorrow. Okay. Hopefully, if it's not, I got something else. Uh, where, where am I in my time? Okay, so thank you, Integrals and the Frenchals. Uh, please, like, subscribe. Cuz, I got more good stuff for you coming. Yeah, uh, follow me on social media. I'll give you clues when new things are happening. I stream live on Twitch. If you're in the loop, you're in the loop. S streams are gonna happen uh, this week. Oh man, I don't know what time is all I'm in at now. They tend to happen at nights at the moment. Yeah, covers. You really like what you're listening to? They're on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you like to stream your music. New ones are coming this, uh, the new one, the new expansion hits. May, yes. That is it for now in a gross of Thank you. Take it easy. Stay safe. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.